Hey, welcome. If this is your first time, my name is Z and it's good to have you. And if you've been here before, well, it's been a minute, but <laughs> hey, we are here, right? We're here. I'm back. It's been, you know, life, career, family, the pandemic. Look, life has been happening. So I apologize, but I'm back. It's good to see you. Or should I say it's good for you to see me? I don't know. So I'm kicking it off with a video on color grading, just how to start, you know, if you've never uh, color graded in Premiere Pro, this is a video for you. Camera manufacturing companies have come a long way. Your Sony, your Canon, you know, uh, Fujifilm, Panasonic, they've, they've come a long way. <laughs> come through. This is my wife. No. This is my no. wife being funny. Come through. She doesn't want to come because she's saying she doesn't look pretty for the camera. This video is for you if you've never, you know, color graded or color corrected your videos or you've tried and you didn't really know what you were supposed to press or not or, you know, it can get confusing. I'm just going to do a quick run through of what you need to know if you're starting from scratch. Okay, so we're going to be looking at two things. The first is color correction. And the second is color grading. And of course, this is assuming that, you know, you've been editing your video already and you're done with everything, but you're like, Ooh, I just want to spice up the color, you know, make it look nice. Um, this video is for you. So for you to do that inside Premiere Pro, uh, you have to look for the color tab that's right at the top. And, you know, if you click on that, it'll give you the best workspace for your color correction process. On your right, you're going to have your Lumetri color panel. And then on your left, uh, mine already has Lumetri scopes, but yours might not have it uh, immediately. So you just want to make sure you navigate to that. And your Lumetri scopes may not look like this uh, initially, but uh, I would say this is probably the best if you are starting out for the first time to color grade with Premiere Pro. Uh, and for it to look like this, you want to go to the setting uh, icon and you wanna make sure that uh, waveform is selected and you wanna make sure that your waveform type is set to Luma, and then uh, which is this uh, black and white waveform. And then you also wanna make sure parade is, is selected and you wanna make sure your parade type is set to RGB, which is the red, green, and blue, uh, just in case you don't know what RGB means. So. Uh, once you have that selected, then your Lumetri scopes are going to look like this. And like I said, the first thing that we want to do is to color correct. So uh, the first thing that we want to correct is to balance our red, green and blue. So for me, it already kind of looks balanced because what you're trying to achieve, if you're looking for a balanced image, is to have your red, green and blue waveforms uh, look almost the same like at the same level uh, so but what you can do to quickly uh, balance that is you can go to your white balance selector which is this eye drop and then you just uh, you know look for the whitest point on your uh, on your image I'm gonna use this cloud and as you can see it didn't really change much uh, on my waveforms I'm gonna show you I'm gonna undo and redo just to show you how it moved as you can see it moved the blue uh, just slightly down, but I mean, didn't really do much because my image is well balanced already in terms of, you know, the RGB. The waveforms will look different in terms of what your image actually looks like. Uh, but generally, this is how you balance, uh, you know, your white balance. And then the next thing that we want to do is to correct our contrast, our highlights, our shadows. And this is where the luma waveform comes in what you want to try to achieve is to make sure that your your waveform or your footage stays within the zero to a hundred your zero is the darkest point that you can go to without underexposing and or losing uh, details in your image or your footage and of course 100 is the brightest point that you can get to without starting to overexpose your image and to lose some details there so you want to try to make sure that you keep it within zero to a hundred. Once you start to move these controllers, like your shadows, as you can see, if I move them down, you see that the waveform is actually responding as well. And it's getting a little darker. It's giving us, you know, some of those darker details that we didn't have from my footage. You know, same thing. If I move the, the whites up, 
and the highlights as well. If, if I move the highlights all the way up, you'll see that, you know, it's, it's not all the way up on the waveform and it's also getting blown out. So you just wanna, you just wanna use the waveform to your advantage and also use your eyesight just to see how it's looking on the video. You can just use these to, you know, your preference and how you want, you know, your footage to really look. But ideally what you wanna achieve is to, you wanna have as much, you know, black in your image as much white, you know, as much shadows showing, um, just to balance it out. So I'm just gonna, you know, quicken this process. So I think I'm happy with this because I generally shot this outside. So it, it was, you know, it's, it's gonna be more bright than it will be dark. So that's why you see this waveform looks like this. Um, but, you know, I'm just gonna turn my Lumetri color on and off just so you can see the difference you know, this is how it was looking before we started and this is how it's now looking. So, you know, it's it's starting to look, you know, better. That's the whole, you know, process of color correcting and color grading. So I'm gonna leave this for now. I like how it looks uh, for the purpose of this video. And I mean, of course you can spend more time if you're working on your personal videos or for clients or something like that. Um, so I'm gonna close this basic correction tab and then I'm gonna open the curves tab. So you don't have to dive into this uh, straight up in the beginning, but if you feel like you've mastered the basic correction and you know you know how your Lumetri scopes work now, you can also go into this. And what this allows you to do, uh, the curves allow you to dive in deeper into specific colors. So for example, the U versus saturation, if I wanna pump up the saturation of the sky, I can just use this eyedropper tool and then I just click anywhere on the sky and it will create these keyframes that I can then use to either saturate the sky a little bit more. As you can see, it's getting a little bit more saturated the more I move up or if I move it down, I actually desaturate the sky. As you can see, it's now gray. So if I do that, I can play around with the trees even. I can eye drop you know, the trees and you know, move this up as you can see. Uh, the trees are getting more saturated. Uh, if I move it down, I desaturate them. So it all depends on what you want to do, you know, with it. So this uh, U versus U changes the hue of whatever color it is. So if I wanna change the color of the sky, I can move it up and down this, you know, I can make it purple, I can make it green, I can make it, I don't know, anything. You know, it depends what you wanna do with your video or your footage or whatever it may be. And the same goes with Luma. It will change the Luma if you just use, you know, the eyedrop tool here. That's as far as curves go. And I'm just, you know, running through this just to show you what you can do. I'd say in terms of correction, this is where I'll stop in terms of, you know, the tabs that you need to be worried about. So once you're confident that you've done your color correction, uh, the, the next thing that you'd want to do is color grading. And this is where, uh, if you've ever heard of people talking about LUTs or looks, uh, this is where it comes in. And what I usually like to do is I like to actually create a, an adjustment layer. So you come to your, you know, your project window here and you just click on this new item icon and you go to adjustment layer and you know you can just click ok because it just gives the settings for your sequence already and then you just drag and drop this adjustment layer on top of your footage i've just found that this works better uh, because sometimes it may end up if you put the color grade settings on the same uh, video that you are color correcting it sometimes gives these funny effects i don't know what they are but you know I just use an adjustment layer. This is what I like to do. Whilst you're still on this color workspace, you select on your adjustment layer and then you see to, you know, pretty much have these reset. Uh, if I click on my footage, you'll see it's got different settings for that. And the adjustment layer has different settings for that. So once you have your adjustment layer, you close your basic correction and you open on creative.
this is where we're going to add our lot or our look you can actually add different kinds of lots there are free looks that are there on you know anywhere on the internet you can just look for them or some of them you can actually buy from your favorite photographers or filmmakers or so you go on this drop down menu uh, where it says look and then you just um, I've got different kinds of looks here. Uh, these are actually not all my looks, but uh, I downloaded some of them and some of them are actually not appearing here. Yeah, I don't know why, uh, but you probably will have most of these that are written by Adobe. These are the ones that come with uh, Premiere Pro. Um, so you can select any of these. So I'm just gonna select maybe this Kodak 5218. And as you can see, it's gonna do something to the image there. And usually with LUTs, you don't wanna have it at 100 um, intensity level. You wanna take it down to about 32 maybe, or 30 or, you know, somewhere um, where it's not too intense. Uh, I actually don't like this one, so I'm gonna look for another one. Uh, let me see if I can. Uh, Okay, I actually like this one better. So this one gives you a little bit of a blue cold and uh, this is actually a downloaded lot that I got free from some website. I don't know if you've ever watched the movie uh, Mad Max. The image itself was looking warm. It was, you know, orangey, yellowy uh, because it was hot, you know. So your colors actually speak to what your, you know, what's happening in the video or what's happening in the footage. So yeah, I mean, of course, like I said, you can actually download different looks and you know, you can even edit, uh, you know, if you wanna pull up the saturation a bit. If I put up the saturation here, as you can see, this is how it now looks. If I turn off the, the look, this is how it actually looks. And then if I actually turn off the color correction that we did before, this is where we started. And then we color corrected and we got here and then we added a look and this is where we are we went from that to this so of course this was not you know very informative and like really diving in deep but at least this gives you an idea of how you can you know start to color correct and color grade your videos inside premiere pro do let me know if you want me to do an in-depth you know i can do maybe uh, different kinds of parts of uh, you know this process and uh, maybe that can help you out a little bit more but if you love this video please give it a thumbs up and you know what to do you can subscribe if you haven't you know that really helps uh, that helps the channel that helps me you know road to a thousand subs yeah um, but apart from that until next time